Hi book lovers, it's Jenny at Julia Baby Jen and these is my May recommendations. Okay, so the May recommendations theme this month is favorite contemporaries. So I will leave the link below to the channel creators or to the creators who made this group and the link to the Goodreads group. It is uh, Trina at Between Chapters and, and Kayla Rain Reads. And, and then I'll leave the link to their channels and then also to the Goodreads group if you want to participate in this, uh, in this uh, I don't know what you want to call it, theme, whatever. I love doing these. These are so much fun. So today, this month is Contemporaries, which is perfect for May. And I have a pretty good stack. So let's get started. So I couldn't pick between three, so I just picked all three. I have the books by Stephanie Perkins, Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happy Happily Ever After. I love all three of these. I think I probably like Anna and Isla the best, but I also really love Lola, so I couldn't leave her out. Um, so basically, these are three different couples. They all are connected in some way. You can read these as standalones, or you can read them as a series. If you read them as a series, you should really read Anna, Lola, and then Isla. But uh, you might have a few spoilers if you start with Isla, but but basically uh, it's you can read them like standalones. <clears throat> Anna and the French Kiss takes place with Anna. She's uh, been sent to a boarding school for a year in Paris, and she doesn't really want to be there, and she meets this boy. It's all about her living in Paris for a year. It's wonderful. Lola takes place in San Francisco, and it's about her and the boy next door, Cricket, who has moved away for a while, and now he's back. And then Isla is in Happily Ever After is her and Isla and Josh, and they are back at the same school that Anna was at. So this is in Paris as well. So these are just really fun, light contemporaries, just beautiful. If you want a light, fun read, relaxing, good summer beach read, these are definitely wonderful reads for that. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Um, this is a little bit of a, of a bleaker contemporary, and this follows basically uh, Jesse, who... Uh, is trying to fly under the radar, but then his mother makes him become best friends with this girl named, uh, I think it's Rachel is her name, uh, who has cancer. And it all kind of follows from there. So uh, it's just the story between these three teens, and it's really interesting. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I want to. I enjoyed this book way more than I thought I was going to. Um, it's kind of like, a I would compare it to like a John Green book, but I thought it was a little bit better than his, to be honest. So, so yeah, I really recommend this. <clears throat> we Were Liars by Eve Lockhart. This is actually also a mystery with a contemporary. We're basically following this family of rich people who uh, summer every every summer on this island that they own. And the year before, there's been some kind of a tragedy. And basically, you're trying to discover what this is because the whole family is... Dynamic has changed and things are just not really great. But uh, So it's called We Were Liars because the main characters, the kids in the family, call themselves liars. So uh, there's a lot of family drama, and it's just really wonderfully written, and the mystery is so intriguing and so horrifying, and and yeah, it's just a really interesting, interesting read. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Um, so If I Stay, there's a movie, and the movie I really like too, but it follows this girl, um, Mia. Mia, who uh, is in a car accident with her family, um, and she is in a coma, and her whole family has died. And she, uh, we're basically following her consciousness as she's watching the people around her. And basically, it's called If I Stay because our nurse lets her know that, you know, it's up to her if she decides to leave or if she decides to stay in her body. So there's a lot of flashbacks of her life. You learn all about, about her life throughout this. It's a very sad but gripping story, and I absolutely love this. Of course, there is a romance in this, her and her boyfriend. Um, and it's just really interesting. And then where she went is from the boy's perspective, and it's three years later. Um, so uh, I liked where she went a lot more than if I stay, but I do like both of these. They're very gripping reads. The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon. This is one of my favorite reads I've read so far this year, and I absolutely loved this contemporary. This follows two points of view, Natasha and Daniel. Um, and they meet on this day in New York, and it flips back and forth between the two of them falling in love on this very uh, important day for both of them. For her, uh, her family and her are going to be deported at the end of the day back to Jamaica. And Daniel is uh, interviewing for uh, a prestige college, and he doesn't really want to do it. 
So it's just kind of them uh, affecting each other throughout this day and the choices they make and then what they how they affect everyone around them as well. And I really love the way this is written. It's a cute story, but also the, the way it was written is just phenomenal. And I just fell in love with these people and the story, and it was just wonderful. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This is a very sad book, but it's a very impactful book. And we're following uh, Finch and Violet, and um, it starts out with... Violet um, trying to, well not trying to, but contemplating suicide as she stands at the top of her school's roof. And Finch happens to be up there and he's always been called suicidal. So uh, he sits up there all the time apparently and he kind of talks her down and they get off together. And it's about their story. And it's, uh, it's very impactful. It's very sad, but it's so wonderful. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe um, by Je Benjamin Alir Sainz. I adored this book. This book was wonderful. So it's about these two best friends, Ari and Dante, and the summer together, and the, it's kind of a coming of age, learning who you are kind of a novel, and it's really, really wonderful. I absolutely adored this book so much from beginning to end. I can't really give you a lot more than what I've given you. It's just really good. And finally, I picked a Rainbow Roll. I would recommend any of her books, but I picked Eleanor and Park, which is my favorite of hers. This follows two kids, Eleanor and Park, uh, it takes place like during the 80s, so there's a lot of 80s pop culture, which I really enjoyed. Um, but they meet on the bus, they can't stand each other. Um, Park is a uh, Asian boy who tries to fly under the radar. He's not really popular, but he's not unpopular. Eleanor is a new kid who is a little chubby and with frizzy red hair and dresses in weird men's clothing and is definitely going to be picked on. She gets on the bus and no one will let her sit with him. And so finally Park feels sorry for her and lets, lets her sit with him. But it's not a very gracious uh, welcoming at all. And it's just about, it starts off, it's a very slow burn kind of a book. They start like not liking each other at all. And then very slowly they start to become friends. And it's just a wonderful, adorably cute read. I absolutely adore this book. I really highly, highly recommend this, this one. This is so good. And those are my favorite contemporaries. Uh, leave me a comments below what some of your favorite contemporaries are. I hope everyone has a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.